Five-year-old girl takes the bus alone early in the morning, and no one says anything. How did she get past the driver and other riders? We're asking the tough questions at 5 o'clock. Good afternoon. I'm Jeff Gianola. And I'm Jennifer Hoff. Now, you might remember that there was a search for this girl. This was last Thursday. Her parents actually reported her missing from their home. Well, our Amy Frazier went to TriMet today to find out if policies are being changed in response to this incident. What did you discover, Amy? Well, I found out TriMet has now completed its internal investigation. The agency says the operator responded appropriately and also thought the girl was older than five years old. See what you think after watching the surveillance video from the bus. The video shows the five-year-old girl boarding the bus in southeast Portland at about 6 a.m. last Thursday morning. There was no signs of concern or distress with this girl. A man gets on behind her and then sits down across from the little girl. The operator did believe the two were together. About 45 minutes into the ride, a police dispatcher contacted a TriMet dispatcher about a missing girl. Hispanic female, five years old. She's taller, I guess, than normal, so she looks a little older, has dark, long, curly hair, wearing a white t-shirt and floral pajama bottom. TriMet says they were told by police dispatch that the missing girl's name was Alicia, a name they later learned was wrong. The agency sent an alert to bus drivers about the missing girl. While the girl didn't necessarily match the description, Given on that message, uh, including the hair and the clothing, the operator thought, you know, I did pick up this girl in that same area. Uh, I'll just call back to her and see if her name is Alicia. The girl said no, and the ride continued. At some point, TriMet says the operator noticed the man who boarded with the girl was gone. So the operator asked her where the man went. And the girl says, I don't know. I'm going to see my sister. And the operator at that point does ask again, are you sure your name's not Alicia? And the little girl said no, because her name wasn't Alicia. At that point, though, doesn't this seem fishy to the operator? Shouldn't the operator have done more once they're seeing all these things develop at that point? It's really not unusual to have children riding TriMet, even by themselves. At what age? With parents. What age? That is something that we leave up to the parents to decide. A sheriff's deputy boarded the bus at the Clackamas Town Center and discovered this was indeed the missing girl. I asked TriMet if it plans to do anything differently in response to this incident. No policy right now about unattended no. children. No. And no plans for a policy about unattended children. It'll be children. discussed, but um, at this point, it's not something that's imminent. Now, TriMet says their drivers do contact their control center if a child traveling alone seems lost or scared or if they are concerned about that child's safety. But they say, in this case, they just really weren't. And, and you know, what's amazing, Amy, is that surveillance video. It's almost like step by step mm -hmm. when she gets on, mm -hmm. uh, what happens along the bus that way. But it does seem strange that a five-year-old can get on a bus by herself and no one really questions it for a while. That's pretty young. Well, and again, the operator says they thought that child was, yes, was older. Was, yeah. The description went out saying, you know, that the mm -hmm. child seems older than five. I guess she was a little bit taller. but.